Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Well, well, well. Okay, Mr. Eddie, uh, my cook is like, you know, just freaking this little classic damn game spot thing, hack, freaking clickbait journalist. And you know what? I'm a hack freaking clickbait YouTuber, so um, uh, let's read his shit and get some contact out of it, because I mean, I got triggered, bro. I got triggered when I read this shit. Uh, it's mainly his headline and how he forms it. I'm sure the Phil didn't actually, you know, he probably did it a little bit more PR related, but he's like, man, you don't understand the true power of next gen. Of next gen true power. That comes with 60 frames per second. Oh, bro, dude. I've been I've been needing that 60 frames, man. I've been needing that shit since Pong, since Atari, and, and Nintendo, and Super Nintendo. Those, you know, they had all these frame rates or whatever, and we had to give them shits up for, you know, Virtua Fighter. Oh, wait, Virtua Fighter was also 60 frames. We had to give these frames up for... Tomb Raider. No, no. Tomb Raider was 60 frames on, at least on PC. Uh, we gave them frames up for Mario 60. Oh, wait. Mario 64 was, I'm pretty sure, 60. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 64. I mean, 60 frames. Um, but somewhere along the line, we got to get the graphics pumped up. We got to them, you know, we got to kick out them um, terrible scruff pictures on the PlayStation 1. We got to get that there. Vaseline goop all up and down. Everything in N64. Slop that Vaseline all up in that shit. We're going to have our frame rates in 10 in a second. Um, I mean, uh, you can play it, right? You know. And somewhere around that, you know, PlayStation, Sega Saturn. Um, I, hell, even if you go back to, like, say, Star Fox on Super Nintendo, the frame rate was, was just, like... It was just put to the side. It's like, oh, well, you know, we can't push out what we need to push out on these 3D games to keep the frame rate. And so we'll just say, fuck the frame rate, and just go shit. And then it came to new standards. Well, you know, it's okay if you could get a stable 30. But if we're looking back even back then, you can't even get a damn stable 30. So now, 60 frames a second is apparently the big deal, even though there was plenty, plenty of at least PlayStation 4 games early in the generation that were 60 frames. I remember all a bunch of anime stupid shit I played that would have been on Vita, but mainly the Vita game. They throw it on there and it runs on 60 easy. And of course you have stuff like The Last of Us 1 and the remasters would be 60 frames. And then, you know, they talk about, man, this is so great, 60 fucking frames. This is just the damn standard that should have been there the whole freaking time. And, you know, now he's like, man, get, there's a feel of improvement that comes with frame rate. And so... This is a, this isn't the true power of next gen. This is um, a load of bullarkey. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you for triggering me and getting me pissed off. Oh, but he ain't even done. He ain't even done. Let's go over here. So, then he does a quick. I don't know where he picked this bullshit from Ed Boone. He probably doesn't even interview himself. But we'll go right down here. Ed Boone is of course the guy who makes Mortal Kombat, and um, he's like. It's a big differentiating factor between, you know, these low times. The low times are going to be, you know, the key to next gen. So, the SSD that you probably, hopefully, that you've already bought and put in your Xbox One and, S and you know, PS4, if you've been thinking right, it's now standard. And, you know, of course, the PlayStation 5 is supposed to have the super SSD that, dude, this isn't even, you know, memory anymore. This isn't, I mean, storage. This isn't storage. This is, like, just straight RAM, okay? It's a terabyte of RAM, all right? That's how fast it is. Tim Sweetie says that's how fast it is. It's full of shit. But uh, when you play something like um, Mortal Kombat, well, I only use Tekken uh, 7 because I've never played Tekken 7 on PS4 or uh, Xbox. What I've heard, though, is that them load times would be like something like 40 seconds or maybe even worse between from when you pick your dude in your fighting games, and you both pick your guys, and you have the freaking versus screen, 40 something seconds before you actually are able to play. That's just, it sucks, man. That's like shit that would happen back on like your PlayStation 1. Um, I remember going to go back to Street Fighter EX Alpha where you could, uh, there was a little option that you could try to turn down some of the amount of things and effects on your screen, so, or on the versus screen, 
So it would load a little bit faster because the load times were so bad. Uh, but that, you know, Street Fighter Alpha was also, I mean, um, EX Plus Alpha was also another game that ran at 60 frames. But that's, I mean, that was like five seconds ago. Um, this is not anything that's impressing me one damn bit. And so when you have made 4K the standard, which you really can't hit at 60 PCs can't really hit that at 60. We'll have to see what the NVIDIA 3000 series cards do, but um, or a stable 60 anyway. You've you've done major uh, refresh consoles that are going to do the fake 4K or whatever it is, and so you don't have anything going in. You know, where's your big courteous graphics? It's mostly an artistic direction made by the studios, like the studio animators and artists are going to push or what's going to look like next gen as opposed to just what's in the hardware and I just what's, what's the point of it what's the point of the series X what's the point of the ps5 that's a real real problem and it's just compounded by those mid-gen refreshes I ain't hated those mid-gen refreshes they made me go to the fucking PC and I haven't looked back and when I do look back, it's still like, oh, 60 frames a second SSD. It's, it's the laugh at that shit. This, this can't be. Eddie, you got me ticked. You got me mad. You, you did your job. You got me to click your shit. Oh, God. Is it about the games? Because the games are going to be... Most of those games are going to be on Xbox One. I mean, they're all going to be on Xbox One. And I bet you the majority of the shit... That they're going, that the, the Sony's going to show for their, you know, big reveal. It's probably going to be on uh, PS4 as well. The reason being because the games cost so fucking much to make. If you make, you know, something like um, let's just let's say, if, let's say this freaking Rock, Rockstar said, "Oh, Grand Theft Auto 6 is out right now, and you're only going to be able to get it on PS5 and Series X." It would sell a lot of damn consoles, to be sure. It would sell the new consoles. But if you put it out on, you know, every platform right now, on your Xbox One, your PS4s, so all the little revisions, and put it out on PC, help throw the shit on Switch or in Stadia, just to be laughable, you would sell bazillions of copies. And so you're you're just killing your you're killing your profits in your market for your big super budget game if you're trying to get it day one in these consoles. And it's almost like a guarantee that if they do have a big budget game on these consoles and it's just for those like say if, let's say it's Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is only for PS5 and oh and it's day one that's a big get it's probably gonna be shit it's probably gonna be shit just like Killzone Shadowfall just rushed out to hit the day but um that's where we are right now man in the, the world of console domes freaking 60 frames a second in SSD even though plenty of them shits was 60 frames at least early gen um last gen at least early in the generation but um, yeah, yeah, I got I got triggered, Eddie. I, I thank you, man. I like to get stirred up a little bit in the afternoon.